Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I am in my recording software. It is OBS. It's a free software. And the reason I'm in OBS today is I've had a few requests recently uh, asking what my settings are and what program I use to actually record all of my videos. Now, I also do get the question of what uh, editing software and editing software settings I do use as well. If you guys would like to see that as well, I am more than happy to make a separate video for that also. So just let me know down in the comment section below. But let's get into today's video, guys. All right, so I'm not going to go over too much of the basic stuff. I'm literally just going to show you my settings and that'll be it. Now, I just have to preface that these are not the best settings for you. These are the best settings for me. And this is, uh, yeah, this is based off my, my gear that I have, the experience and past experiences that I do have with OBS and recording gameplay in general. So yes, you can go off these settings and try them out but you will most likely need to tweak them a little bit depending on how good your computer is, how much storage you have and what type of games you are gonna be recording. All right, so if we open up settings, we are going to skip right down to output. Now I'm gonna skip the streaming tab and just go straight to recording. If you don't have this, you need to click up here and change the output mode to advanced. So we'll click recording. Now I just have my type left to standard and my recording path is actually set to its own SSD. Uh, I do really highly recommend that you do have your recording output a separate hard drive compared to your main drive. You pretty much just want your recording to have the sole priority of the drive so nothing is gonna interrupt, nothing else is you know, being taken away from that priority of your recording. It'll just result in the best, the best quality um, recording that you could possibly get. Now I do record in MP4, even though it does say down here that if, uh, if the recording does corrupt at any time throughout recording at all, you can't actually re recover it at all. <laughs> so it is a little bit risky, but my editing software does require that I use MP4, which is why I have that. I haven't touched wood, uh, run into any issues with anything crashing. So fingers crossed, I never do. Now this is pretty common now. I do actually have two audio tracks, one for my game and one for my mic. Both of those are actually set to the maximum quality, which is what you should be doing anyways. It's not gonna add any, or if not, add any significant file size to the, the video, but it, it's one thing that everyone can hear the difference in is the audio quality. So uh, yeah, I have them separate just because that way if I need to make my microphone louder, I'm not gonna make the gameplay louder as well. Now my encoder is the NVENC H.264. That's because I've got a NVIDIA graphics card. You probably will only have the X264. Uh, it's very similar, it just runs off the CPU you instead of the graphics card and if you are Intel you may have something else as well. I would always opt for using the graphics card over the CPU just because the CPU is already strained out enough. Now I don't rescale and I don't have any custom MUXA settings at all. Moving down to the most popular section of this recording area is this bottom part here. I record with a constant bit rate of 50,000. Um, that's probably a little bit overkill, but I do edit in a high quality as well. You can't exactly record in a low quality and then pump it out and edit it up. So if you want high quality, you have to start with the recording, which is why I have that set to 50,000 and my keyframe interval is two. Uh, my preset is high quality, profile main, level auto, and I pretty much don't touch any of this from down here. And like I said before, I have two audio tracks and both of them are maxed out to 320, my game and my mic. Just quickly moving over to the audio tab, my sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz. That's because I've got a Rode Podcaster and it actually is set to that sample rate. And if you'd like to find out what your sample rate is for your microphone, just come down to the sound here and go sounds. Head to the recording tab and just click on your microphone, right click and go properties and then go to advanced. The default format will always be, you know, the default. 
So I can change it to 44 hertz, but it will actually sound really, really weird. So make sure you leave it on your default. If it's if you think it's been changed, literally just click restore defaults and it'll go back to what it was meant to be. And there we go. My uh, my microphone is the Rode Podcaster. Now moving on to the video tab, and that's the final tab too, I believe, is the resolution. So I've got my base resolution to 1080p as well as my output. Uh, you can scale it down, but I probably wouldn't mess around with that. If you're going to scale it down, just record in that scaled down version as well. So if you're going to record in 720p, just record in it and then don't even, you don't even have to worry about scaling it down. Uh, never scale up unless you're recording with like thousands and thousands of bitrate enough to actually counteract, you know, the quality of you increasing the video. Um, and my downscale filter, I don't think this is too important, but it's set to the Lancus, and then my FPS is set to 60. Here's a quick look at the advanced tab. I don't believe there is anything too important here, but if you want to take a look, there you go. And I'm going to say that is it for today's video, guys. Like I said before, if you'd like to see my recording software, Adobe Premiere Pro, and the settings I use to actually export all of these videos in, make sure you leave me a like and a comment down below. If you'd like to see anything else at all, um, I'm more than happy to share some of my insights and things like that uh, with you guys. And uh, yeah, if there's anything in particular, make sure you let me know. Other than that, guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.